today we're going to be completing a small improvement here on my shop tractor. We'll be welding some hooks onto its bucket so I can lift and move things better with the bucket still attached since I don't always have the forklift attachment we built on here and sometimes I found myself needing to move things with the loose material bucket still in place. And uh, since I've had a bunch of people ask me to make a video about this in the past, I figured that it was time. Alright, so uh, to start off with here, I acquired these two grade 70 transport chain hooks. Now, uh, one I've had kicking around for years and the other <laughs> a few less years. And I decided that these will be the basis for our mod. Now, all we have to do is to draw up where we need to trim these down since we'll be welding them to flat plate and thus we won't be needing their original pin attachment points. Now one thing about working on anything with uh, with especially this gold colored plating on it is that you really do not want to breathe any of that stuff in. So the whole time I'm working on this here I'll be wearing a suitable respirator plus using our fume extractor and also a couple of large fans as well. Now I decided that I wanted to place these hooks at the very top of the bucket as is tradition and, uh, and also in line with the frame arms of the loader itself for maximum strength. So I simply got a uh, flap disc out and used that to remove the powder coating on this bucket. Then it was about time to weld. Now most of you already know that in many cases, like for example what we're doing here, it's a really good idea to mount a plate between the surface of a piece of material and something that's going to be pulling really, really hard upon it, like uh, obviously these hooks for us or perhaps a D-ring for example, just because that way the hook pulls on a piece of thick 3 8 plate that we're adding on here and that works to more evenly distribute force against the bucket itself, making it actually easier for the bucket to withstand a greater amount of force placed upon it. Made it a point to toss a, a couple of welding jackets over the exposed hydraulic cylinders on this tractor before we started welding, which I would definitely recommend anytime you're you're doing something like this. Now everything on this did weld together extremely well and once I was finished welding it was time to clean off all the smoke and spatter and whatnot with a wire wheel on my angle grinder and then I decided to touch up the paint because I, I personally believe that a job like this isn't really done until it's been rattle canned or painted in some form. You know things look a lot better and they hold up a lot better and this way everything's not going to rust which is really nice. Now this will make our improvement look infinitely better and I must say that I am extremely happy with how this turned out. Using only about 20 bucks of materials or so, we've given this loader bucket the ability to safely and easily lift quite a bit of weight. Now the front end loader on this tractor is rated to lift about 2700 pounds or so and for anything very serious like that I would definitely reinstall the forklift attachment but for now if I have to move things in the 
three to 700 pound range like the average sort of thing I do with this tractor. It's no longer a big ordeal to do with the bucket still attached. And even better yet, now if I'm moving loose material with the bucket or just random objects or whatever, I now have two super sturdy hooks to attach straps and whatnot to to secure them in place. Now this is a uh, simple project, but still a very enjoyable one. It's everything that I hoped it would be, and this is without a doubt one of the most common mods to anything with a front end loader that I've ever seen. Really hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and if you're going to do this, do it solely at your own risk, and uh, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.